Assalamu alaikum. We'll be discussing fourth topic of this uh, July series, Physics 5054. The topic is uh, mass wave and density. We'll uh, discuss the overview of this chapter. We'll be discussing mass, weight, and, uh, and then we'll be discussing the measurement of weight and gravitation field strength, the units, density. So that's all in this chapter. It's not such a big topic. So I'll be directly moving on to it. I hope you understand the difference between the Newton meter or digital balance compared with beam balance. So beam balance actually compares the two weights and whatever G is that is cancelled on both the sides. Basically, beam balance is comparing the masses. And Newton meter or digital balance measures the weight of the object and then internally it's converted to the mass of the object. So that is why beam balances reading do not change even if G is G, for example, on a different planet. But Newton meter and digital balance, they can change their reading if G is changed. So a brick is placed on Newton meter and then on a beam balance, what is measured by each instrument? So Newton meter is measuring weight and beam balance is measuring mass. Because uh, Newton meter, like you place the brick here, so due to its weight, that spring will be stretched down and that is due to its weight. For example, the answer is uh, 40 Newtons. So internally, we can divide it by G approximately by 10 and its mass will be 4 kg. So I can write here 40 Newton and on the opposite side, I can write 4 kg. So actually it's measuring weight, but internally divided by G, I can, uh, I can uh, make a scale here for the mass of that object. But beam balance directly compares the two weights and we have g on both sides so g will be cancelled out so actually it's comparing the masses okay moving on <clears throat> so again the same question found on earth using the pen balance the weight of the stone is found using a newton meter are the readings the same on different or different on the moon so reading on pen balance will be same and reading on newton meter will be different option b the table shows weights and masses of four objects on different planets. On which planet is the gravitation field strength the largest? So W is equals to mg, gravitation field strength can be reduced as W is equals to W upon m. That will be equals to g. So ratio of weight and mass gives the gravitation field strength. So here you can find out the correct answer here. The mass and volume of four different objects are plotted as shown. Which object has the smallest density? So if we talk about smallest density, density is ratio of mass and volume, m upon v. So for smallest density, smallest mass and largest volume, that will be smallest density. Smallest mass and largest volume. So option B will be given with mass uh, 10 and the volume also 10. One gram per centimeter cube will be the density of the subject. Okay, two cylinders P and Q are made of copper. The height of P is twice as height of Q. The diameter of P is half the diameter of Q. So it means dimensions are different. Which statement is correct? Okay. The density of cylinder P is four times the density of cylinder Q. The density of cylinder P is twice that of density Q. I guess uh, that's a trick question. Copper material is used to make both the cylinders. The material is same, density will be same. Exactly, volume is not mentioned here, but used the same material. So, density will be same. Density of cylinder P is equal to density of cylinder Q. Four rocks on different kinds of masses and weights. It's on which planet has the greatest. Uh, so again, G is W upon 
So a stone has a mass of this, uh, 390 grams, density of 2.7, protein oil has a density of 0.9. Which mass of oil has the same volume as the stone? Okay, so density are given, which mass of volume has the same volume as the density? So we can find out the volume first. Cooking oil's density is given, and stone's mass and density is given. So you can find out the volume of that uh, stone, and then same volume value will be taken for oil, and we'll be taking out the mass if we use the density. So that will be solved in two steps. That can also be done as well. To identify beakers contain the same mass of liquid, there is a different liquid in each beaker. So liquids are different, the density will be different. Liquid P, Q has a density rho. What is the density of P? Okay, so then same dimensions of the beaker. So it means cross sectional area will be same, but heights are different. So this liquid has three times the height of this one, but masses are same. So logically, you can say this liquid has same mass as compared to this one, but volume is very smaller. So this one, liquid P will be a lot denser. And how much is that? If we talk about the volume of cylinder, that is base area into height. So both have same cross-sectional area, so base areas will be same, but its volume will be three times than this one. So if it has one third the volume, so if you put on the uh, put on the values, density is equal to mass upon volume. So if you put volume V upon three, so that will end up being density three times. So option C. Okay, so that will be all for uh, gravitational field strength. Uh, to like and comment, I'll be uploading a worksheet also, and uh, subscribe the channel for further. Yes.